We made it to 37 degrees. Folks, it's November. I mean, but still we're below normal. 43 is where we're supposed to come in, but at least for your overnight lows, bang on right there, 30 degrees. 68 in 2006, mm -mm, we're not seeing that. Let's take a look at the temperatures now. You're anywhere between the upper 20s to low 30s. And even though the winds aren't that bad, check out what happens with the feels like temperatures. Here it is, almost to the teens in Wellsville. We'll get there. So anywhere between the low to mid and upper 20s around the lakeshore, it's definitely feeling a bit cold out there. Let's take a look at 7 Super Doppler. I'm just giving you the wide view because we talked about it in the first forecast. But that first batch of showers has finally made its way east out of the viewing area. And yes, we'll see some lake enhanced out of that. But the bigger story is we've got another batch of snow on our way and it's going to impact that morning commute. Let me show you what that's going to look like with your future cast. In the morning, you're seeing it. More widespread showers, especially around the metro area, the places that are more heavily traveled. The throughway, 86 to the 90, you're seeing it. Those snows. So just take a little extra time. I know I say this all the time, but take a little extra time for that morning commute. We care about you. There we go. And then finally, those temperatures are going to support, especially as you get towards the lakeshore, support that wintry mix. Although it'll be more few and far between going in the afternoon and the evening. Overnight, there you go, seeing some more of that lake effect. Do you notice how those winds started to pick up? Because it's going to get a little bit breezy. Not too bad though. The winds really pick up on a Thursday. Things are quiet for your Wednesday, so I just fast forwarded through that. Let's see what happens. Open up, there it goes. Rain, yes, we're turning, the, we're turning the calendar from November to December, and we're gonna start it off with some rain and some breezy conditions. I told you we'll put the temperatures in the cooler, and then we'll put them right back in the freezer. So let's get through tonight. Those overnight lows are in the 20s, upper 20s. We'll put some low 30s in there. Seeing those snow showers, perhaps one to two inches in those accumulation, really not too much. I'll show you that. Starting off the morning, you're seeing some of those snow showers, more widespread, becoming more tapered off, and having that wintry mix with those temperatures in the mid to upper 30s for your tomorrow. And here's your super seven day forecast. I wanted to show you what things are going to look like in the snow total category. It's really not too much, anywhere between uh, half an inch to almost two inches. And you're seeing that move up north. And if you've been watching throughout the day, these totals have been inching their way further up north to the metro area, seeing that two inches there. Going into Thursday, those temperatures near 50 degrees, putting them in the cooler. And then we wrap up the work week with those temperatures going right back in the freezer by Friday and especially into Saturday, starting the weekend with some snow.